Hey, everybody. Welcome to Indie 3. Welcome. This is a thing that's actually happening. It's really happening. It's happening. We're not joking around. No. This is real. We have so much to talk about. We have so much to do. Uh, welcome everyone who's here. Uh, this is your guys' show. This is... Yeah. We are here as avatars for you guys. Exactly. Uh, we have about... What's our last count? Of uh, games submitted? Just the games. Just the games. 140. <laughs> exactly 140. <laughs> and that doesn't count the games that were also submitted to Warp Door, which is about 25 or so. You so caught them all, basically. We, we, we got them over all. 150. We got them all. It's, it's, it's going to be great. Warp Door looks incredibly hype. They got a huge selection of really interesting games going mm -hmm. on. We got tons of trailers ready. We've got amazing, amazing guests and panelists. That we have, have great, uh, reveals. We have reveals. Yeah, we have we have panelists. We have reveals. We have we have a lot of stuff. We have things that are going to blow your mind. We we have so much uh, stuff that we're literally not done setting all of it up yet. That's how much <laughs> shit we have. It's amazing. <laughs> Even if we had like a hundred days and not three, we still probably wouldn't be done setting it up. Uh, because the work that you guys have put into this show has been absolutely amazing and phenomenal. We really couldn't have done it without you guys. Yeah. Like, honestly. Props. Huge props. Huge. But yeah, we're going to be moving people in with uh, our whole crew, you know. Yep, we've, we've got, uh, for the first hour, we have the crew, we're going to do podcast, right? Yep, we have everybody who's been involved with organizing it. We have Zolani Stewart, who has been doing a great job making sure all the panels get scheduled. Mm -hmm. And we have Austin C. Howe, who's been getting in contact with people and making sure panels get scheduled and just like doing like a really great job. Everyone's done like a fantastic job organizing it. We've got John Brigman that's gonna be on with us of Indie Haven, who's, mm -hmm. they've, they've been breaking, they've been busting their ass. Holy for crap. For like four days, yeah. just getting in contact with everybody. Uh, if they've you, got, they've got <laughs> their like Their Twitter huge, is amazing. They've got a huge amount of people that are ready to like do interviews and all this, all this crazy stuff, it's ridiculous. Like, I, I don't even know how many people they have for, like, interviews and stuff. Yeah. Because it just, it, it keeps going up. Oh, I'm, I'm sure we're still getting game submissions, too, because that hasn't stopped since, yep. since, since the Twitter came. That hasn't stopped at all. So, yeah, uh, lift your mic up. Oh, am I? Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Keep going. All right. Yes. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're Thank good, everybody. Guys. Thank you guys for bearing with us. All right. Um. But yeah, no, this is a show that came together in the last three days, four days. Um, we have not slept for a little while, so... Yeah, we've, we've just been going, like, almost nonstop, just making sure everything gets done properly. I didn't go to sleep until 5.30 this morning. But you look great. I try. I really do. You guys look great. You all look great. You guys are uh, just absolutely having a heyday in chat. You guys look amazing. Yeah, and we're, we are so glad to have all of you here. How many, how many viewers do we have now? Like, like we're, we're up uh, around 730. Jesus, really? <laughs> oh my God. We, we were at like 300 when we were just a logo with my album running, but now we're at 700 people. We, we haven't even started showing games yet. It's okay. We tricked them. No games. No games. <laughs> this, this is a huge ploy by E3 to make sure nobody is happy this, this, <laughs> this entire week. <laughs> Santa took Christmas. But yeah, should we start bringing our homies yeah, in? Yeah, let's start bringing our homies in, and we will talk in E3. What we got planned for the week? A whole week of programming. A whole week. We don't. We're not. We're not gonna stop. Like we're literally sleeping here. We don't, we don't live here. We're gonna be sleeping here for this whole week. Yeah, we sure actually we're, gets we're done. sleeping in green space right now. Yeah, this is this is actually where we live right now for the time <laughs> being until this is over. And we're gonna host you guys here too. You guys get to live here with us. Absolutely. You you get to be with us during this whole thing. You get you get to watch history in the making, basically. Yep. What can I say? All right. Ready to bring folks in? Yep. Bringing our first victim. All right. How about Zolani? Hit up. Great. Zolani. Hello. Welcome. Hey. What's can going we on? turn Zolani up a little bit? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Hello. Yeah. How are you doing? You've done a you've done a really great job getting scheduling done for sure. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I, you've been I, you've been I, going I just, ham. I, I I was just finishing something right to right to the dot. Woo! Right the there dot we go. Right now, so so things have been going pretty okay. I luckily got pretty okay. good sleep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so I, I'm pretty. Good morning, good. everyone. Sorry. Oh my God, that was loud. 
Yeah, sorry about hey, you know what? This is this is really good for four days of work. All right, I'm just saying, <laughs> slip ups are gonna happen. But I think I think we're doing pretty all right so far. Mm. But yeah, you were saying. Yeah. So I mean, I got some pretty good sleep. I, I got. I, I tried to make sure I got to sleep, but I was up pretty oh, late last night, sleep? and I couldn't. I could barely. I could barely even sleep then because. Awesome. I, I'm pretty. I'm pretty ready to yeah. get this started, get this going. The, the, I, know, I just. I just want to remind people. Indie Indie Three did not exist five days ago. No, it really didn't. It, it turned. It literally turned from from one idea to an entire conference. With to what you see here. With with hundreds of submissions from tons of people. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. We got we got LP folks. We got General Ironicus and Chip Cheesem. We got Slow Beef and Diabetes. Mm -hmm. Like it's great. We're getting so many like really interesting people that like and not even not all of them are even related to indie games, which is kind of a big focus of this event. It's just getting everybody involved. Yeah, this is this is everybody else's E3, which doesn't just include uh, like devs and stuff, but also literally everyone else, like not games people and uh, artists and musicians and just a huge bevy of people. Um, Enormous. An unbelievable amount that what do, what do we have? Like, oh, well, We have like like over 20 panels Yeah. in like four days. I believe we're nearing 30 now. There you go. 30 panels in four days. A virtual and convention. Because that's, that's what happens when you take your convention from the streets to the internet. I just, I just wanted like the, all the panels are really, really varied too. I was super mm -hmm. surprised at, at at the content and the quality of the, of some of the topics here. They, it just all kind of happened really well. Like, oh, it's super, super so I just went quiet real quick. So, so, so we go. Oh, am I right there? No, just keep going. I, I'm fixing something. Okay, yeah. All right, so voice <laughs> of God's fixing stuff. Yeah. All right, so so what's it called? We have we have pan we have amazing critical panels. We have panels on let's plays. We have panels on on developing so lots of like sort of design talk um we also have just sort of lifestyle panels there's a really good panel um happening friday i think about just kind of living as an indie yep um, liz ryerson and i are going to be talking in depth about living life basically doing independent work like yeah. like without like full-time jobs and stuff like that because it, it's it's a perspective of like indie scenes in general that most people don't see because people like to focus on like the big people and everyone who's succeeding and kind of forgetting some of us little people under there, you know? It's going to be the good, the bad, and the ugly. Exactly. So, yeah. there, there's also shining moments of that. Of course. And I think everyone's going to be able to relate to that. Of course. It, it's, this, it's this, this event in general is a shining moment. This right exists. Here. This is the truest testament to everyone's hard work. Unbelievable. And how we yeah. got, we've got like 300, 400 people probably involved in this at some point. And so after this, we're going to just be showing so many trailers and... Uh, demos and screenshots of hundreds of games that would probably otherwise not receive this kind of attention or spotlight. Yeah, and we got we got some games that are like actively in development right now. Some of them are still pretty early in development, but that's like the entire point is exposing some of these games early, which we also have a <laughs> panel about. Some of them are already developed. Mm -hmm. Like you can you can still revive your old work and be proud of it. Yep, we got some submissions that were. What like maybe two years old? And we're just like set it in. We want it. Absolutely, we want it. More this games, is a the better. Celebration of all indie gaming. The more games we have, the more games you see on stream. The indie 2013 is also a culmination of all the years before it. It's very historical. Although it is 2014. 2014. Thank you. This is. This is I, I know it's. I know it's hard to forget that this is our first year. Yeah. And also our Sorry, first. And also our second. first week and our first <laughs> month. Our first, our, our first, a lot our of first things. Five days. Our yeah, first our first, <laughs> our first less than a week. This is all of our first Monday with ND3 existing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's it's awesome. Mm -hmm. So so I mean I mean like if if you're tuning in now and and you're you're kind of ex and you're interested in what's gonna happen, there's gonna be a lot of really good content. And if you're interested in anything regarding games, anything just regarding anything regarding games, anything regarding just just, just developing things, anything with the creative process, there's gonna be something there that's gonna be interesting. It really really mm -hmm. is. Yeah. It's, it's really really great to think of the kind of stuff that we were able to get together. So it's really cool. There's gonna be some really great people too. A lot of people you don't even know, which is a good thing. That's a good yep. thing. There, there's all new reveals. I, I haven't even heard of. I get I get submissions from 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 people I don't even you know not even know, and that's really really cool. So you're gonna hear a lot of great perspectives. I I'll got I got some stuff in my inbox where I just like I looked at it and I saw the trailer and I was just like, how has nobody heard of this until today? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. It's ridiculous. I looked so up I'm a like, a mermaid bra simulator that I thought was brilliant. <laughs> 
And are we going to be showing that? Yeah, we are. Damn, we, yes, <laughs> I have we are. A list. I looked at it. Yes, we are. Seven a.m. Bam. I picked it up, and I'm like, we've got to do this. Uh, what I really like is that uh, we've brought uh, so many people together, and this has kind of just all been about just making new friends. Yeah. Uh, making new relationships and meeting new people, meeting new forms of creation. Getting communities to like smash together and cooperate and make even bigger things. We've got a platform that is going to rival functionality of Steam. It's not even a game, but... I can't. I can't talk Is too it much about game? it, but yeah, yeah it, it, that's a that's yeah. a tough thing to say, really. <laughs> a tough thing to say in this situation. But yeah, we're um, gonna we're definitely gonna be probably showing that off sometime today because it's I'm it's so really really good stuff, and it's free too. Like 100 percent free. All you have to do is donate, and we like you the, get it. We got the email like yesterday that was like, oh, by the way, uh, I decided to make this free. Um, thought nobody would mind. Yeah, like hey, welcome to Indie Three. But yeah, what were so, you saying? Yeah, so so speaking of free games, um, one thing that's really going to happen is that while um, on this channel that you're watching right now, while TJ um, um, is going to be showing a crap load of games, just a lots. huge, huge amount of games, lots, lots of games, um, on the other channel, um, today's a Monday, so panels won't start today, but um, there's going to be the Warp Door stream with Chris Priestman, and I'm going to be with there with Chris, and we're going to talk about a lot lot of really weird interesting experimental games some of them that i recognize some of them that i've written about um at the arcade review which is my own magazine um so it's gonna be really fun to do that too so if, if you if you want to really see if you want to see like some really interesting stuff stuff that really sort of stretches your sort of mm -hmm. conceptualizing of, of what a game is able to do you want to check out that stream as well so there's a lot of good stuff to, that's in 40 to minutes right show with. yep that, that's that is, that's that good that's good to emphasize stuff. because we do we do have two channels the hitbox guys have hooked us up on like a ridiculous level like we're, got, we're on front page they have they've given us full support they've given us like all this all this amazing stuff mm -hmm. including the two channels like like yeah. don't we have like more bandwidth or something like that yep. or ridiculous no, like uh, that? they wanted to make the show as great looking for you guys as possible um and yeah huge props to the hitbox so they team. they they pumped it up specifically for they us they were also able to set this up in so honestly days. big big shout out to them if you're if you're not using hitbox just give it a shot what 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 could honestly be worse <laughs> um, um, that's I could, that's I no. List don't, take take that uh, off the list. I didn't say that. We're gonna edit that out. <laughs> but yeah, let's uh let's let's get somebody else in as well because yeah. we still got plenty of people to introduce. What do you think? Should we should we drag in Austin now? Y yep, totally. No, you're not feeling Austin. Well, yeah, let's get Austin, Austin in here. Let's just all right. Let's right. let's let's let's, let's do it. How off. unbecoming of you? Yeah. <laughs> all right. How unbecoming? <laughs> yeah. Let's let's not talk about that. <laughs> Is Austin. Austin, are you here? Yo. Is he? Up? Is he here? Gotta summon him. Should we? Should we bump him? We broke a thousand. Ah! Whoa! I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a clap. Yeah. You're... Wait, we broke a thousand viewers? Yeah. Really? I thought we yes. broke a thousand Twitter people. Yeah, no. I was about to say we. No, we did that we did this that morning. A, we did that a few days ago. That's Holy old news. Holy crap! You guys are amazing people. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, where's um, where's John? Pop up uh, here, I'll bring him in. We'll throw a wrench into things. Yeah. There you go. Uh, John, are you here? I am here. There you go. John Brigman of Indie Haven, everybody. Woo! Um, Indie Haven is going to be doing their own stream, if I'm correct, where they're going to be doing tons of interviews, as well as their own game showcases as well. Ridiculous so you amounts. Check that out. Yeah, yeah. Do, do, you have, uh, do you have any interviews you're particularly looking forward to, John? Uh, if I had to name any in particular, we've got uh, the developer of Octodad, Dadliest Catch, coming in. Nice. Right on. We've got, uh, we've got Megan Fox, uh, who's working on Hot Tin Roof. She'll be on. Not the nice. actor. No, no, yeah, Hot Tin Roof is amazing. Great person. Uh, we've got a few more that we're still talking to, and hopefully, we can get our schedule up shortly, and uh, we'll. Be awesome. sure to keep everyone updated. That's that's gonna be great. So so, how are you feeling about ND three? Because you've, you've been uh, working your ass off helping us out with we've that stuff since. <laughs> we, we've all been working our ass off, but I'm just saying. Uh, uh, yeah. I've just been... <laughs> I, I've just been amazed at the reception we've had and how quickly this has escalated into a thing yeah. over the course of just a few days from, from a simple Twitter conversation. Yeah, from, from me just being really upset about E3 and just being like, hey, why don't we do our own thing? And then I was kind of like, Actually, Actually, that's not that bad of an idea. Yeah, and, no, and, 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 and I, 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 I also 
<laughs> Not at all. I also think it's worth noting too that that um that there, there was something, especially that D two where, where, where TJ was frustrated. I was also frustrated. I don't remember what happened that day. I think it was some piece somewhere or something um, about E three or something. But it, I remember that that you can tell, um, or at least what I saw a lot was was a sort of like a cause a collective exhaustion um, mm-hmm. around the kinds of constant constant sort of pounding of like the same kinds of media spheres, you know. Um, and and you get people saying, I'm kind of tired of this. Yeah, the same I've, I've heard lots of people like saying that they're year, tired of it today. Every year on the same week, I'm just getting pounded all this stuff that, honestly, I don't even really care that much about. It's just because it's so expensive. I guess it has to be everywhere. It's yeah. kind of like being um, around Valentine's Day, but for an entire week. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, pretty much is like that. So you know, it's just like I, I guess I guess because because I've been doing a few interviews, I guess back and forth, um, and I guess one of the things is that maybe Indie E3 can be that for people, some kind mm-hmm. of alternative, exactly. even a reprieve, yeah, yeah. A, a, fre- a breath of fresh air for a little bit. Yeah. Well, I've I've kind of been looking at it as a it's a way to for for independent developers and smaller journalists to be heard amongst all the noise. Yeah, for sure. Plus, like with uh with even with like you know people that aren't that recognized in the indie scene if all of them are talking about it at once then you know it's just it's just gonna happen naturally yeah C- case in point going from a tweet to apparently a thousand people, people stream here. on hitbox wow that's that's the evidence sometimes you just gotta go nike and just do it <laughs> i'm just saying exactly how so- are we how are we doing on austin is he still having issues is Austin still there? Austin's not in here right now. All right, he'll figure it out. Okay, he'll okay, that's I believe in him. Go yeah, that's legit. That's legit. The other side of the coin, though, is that we don't exist without E3. Like, yeah, in like, in a way, like we came because of our frustrations with E3. Not and not because of E3 itself, or the people working it, or the people who are going and attending there. But the systems the and the system culture itself. and everything that's just around it is just so. Just so mm-hmm. like disgusting the, and well, toxic. the things that we don't have control over. Exactly. At an individual level. The the things where like no matter like how much we yell about it, it's not gonna change to that point where it's like, well, why don't we just do our own thing instead yeah. and then get all the people who are also yeah. angry about that over here. And I guess so far it's working. Mm-hmm. When when when, when when people ask me about E3 for the most part, like I tell them like it's not a, it's not really like a big deal. Like I was watch I was watching uh, I was watching that Microsoft panel like today, and then I yeah. started working on something else. So I mean, if anything, for people who are interested in both, like it's pretty complimentary. You, you, what's it called? You can watch the Sony panel and also watch some of the Warped Earth game showcases. You can watch whatever panels going on in E3, whatever press conferences there, and watch all the panels that we have as well. So exactly, you can keep a lot of streams open. We, we're it, we're so. giving you options. In yeah, case you become cool. way too mad for E3, <laughs> which a lot of people have already done. Well, if you if you want to stay if you want to stay on Twitter, you can get all the E3 jokes, which is also a cool thing. Of course. Know, so, so 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 there's lots there's lots of options this week. So, That's our other joke: that, that is that go. we are we're keeping the journalists off of Twitter, uh, so we're saving E3 a lot of criticism. Yep. <laughs> we're, we're giving the critics a more constructive place. What, what to... reason do you have to critique E3 when you can just come here instead yeah. and not even yeah, give yeah, 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 attention? Yeah, of, Host a panel. Show off some games. That's... Make a game. We've got the game jam. We haven't even talked about that yet. <laughs> yep, that's right. That's the game jam. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow we're starting the game jam. Twitter snarking about it. What'd you say? Uh, oh, go go again. Sorry. I didn't hear you. Jeb? I was, I was saying that's why, that's why you brought me in here, so I can't be on Twitter snarking about E3. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we had We had to calm you down. <laughs> a lot of people are getting a bit too excited here. Uh, so we got the Game Jam. That's right. We have the Game Jam, which is officially hosted by Game Jolt using mm. their, uh, what was it, like Alpha or their Beta like, they just jam launched, system? They just launched a new Jam system. Yeah, they launched it like specifically for, for Indie 3. 3 as like a world premiere thing, yeah. which is awesome. We're going to be doing that from the 10th to the 4th. If you've never been a part of a Game Jam... Now is the best time to just make a game. That's right, because um, Yo-Yo Games Yo-Yo just made Game Maker Studio free again, like t- like two or three days ago. Almost, Done. Almost like right after we announced ND3, it went free, which was like yeah. the best coincidence I could have asked for, really. <laughs> Some of these things are lucky. Some of these things are kind of hustled or planned or just like maneuvered in some way. Uh, but these things have just all happened and lined up. Like the stars have aligned to make ND3 
amazing. Um, yeah. This was just destined to be. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. People have been cl apparently clamoring for this for a really long time. So you can download Game Maker Studio now. The studio version, not just the free version. Yep, you'll you'll have the full version. It none is of like those, none of those resource restrictions that were in the, the the trial version. They just went. You can have it now. It's like 2007 all over again. It's it's really great <laughs> to see that YoYo is kind of getting to that point where they can stop charging so yeah. much for GM Studio and adding all these limitations. Just being able to give it to more people. Quick history in Game Maker. Game Maker used to be free, uh, and then YoYo picked it up and made a lot of huge changes to it, um, and then Te charged for it. Technically, Game Maker was really never free. There was always yeah. Game Maker, and then the Game Maker Pro version. That's they'd, right. They'd like, take right. features out, but then YoYo picked it up, and and on, honestly, um, a lot of people. Quick history. A lot of people give Studio a lot of criticism, but. Yo-Yo really deserves some props because they picked mm -hmm. they picked that whole thing up from the old code that Mark Overmars left in, and they like restructured that whole thing. Like they've just been like, t like th they've been tearing it apart so they can make it work on everything. Because they because then that's case in point why you can export to Mac and Linux and all these other great systems now. And now Sony's in the mix with PlayStation Vita, so you can get yep. Game Maker games on PS4 and PS Vita. That's amazing. It's amazing. And we're going to be seeing a lot of games like that. Yep. From here. They're going to come from here and then go to your Vita. Exactly. It's it's really just, it's it's a really good time, I think, to be an independent developer. Mm -hmm. As, yeah. Especially with all these things that are surfacing that are specifically tailored for indies. Yeah. Like, not even, not even just like Indie 3 because we can pat our own backs as much as we want forever really no we're just a platform yeah exactly. Like, it's not necessarily even about us we're, we're, we're trying to promote all the stuff that's been happening around us like all the all, like there's just there's so much great software out there there's so many people that are willing to help you uh is that Austin? did Austin just come in yeah i i, I just came into i just came into I, I just had to deal with something but yeah but um yeah there's just a lot of really great things coming out of the out of the dev world that are like specifically tailored for making sure Indies have like a much easier time doing what they do. Like rapid rapid prototyping is like really kicking off, and a lot of that I'm really hoping to see happen at the Indie Three Jam. Yep, June okay. 10th to 14th, we're going to be showing all of those games off on the 15th. Yeah, um, all day. Called, uh, 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 Everything uh, uh, that you guys uh, make. Oh, what's called an another incentive to, to maybe try if you never tried make a game before, maybe you're interested. Um, is that there's a lot of complimentary content too. Like like you can make games and maybe even check out some panels because we have design panels as well. Yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. that'll help you out too. Um, and also note that that game maker is a cool thing, but there's also tons and tons of tools. Um, Lots I mean, of them. like I I, it, it be, I mean uh, I'm not sure a lot of people know. Yeah, RPG Maker. I mean, I was gonna mention Twine yep. as well. That's um, right. That's, that's really there was there well, was that RPG Construct. Maker sale recently. Um, so so you have Contract, you have Twine, you have RPG Maker, and there are probably some others I don't know. If you're interested in 3D games, you can maybe try Unity. Maybe if you're into that, I know that Game Maker has a 3D function. If if that's something that that oh, each that's a taste. lot. There's, 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 yeah. there's a lot of options around for free to you know do something cool. And, and and we and we want to be able to show it. We want to be able to, to just show people's creative output. Yeah. Um. And 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 uh, that's really neat. So so we, we encourage them of, to participate. That's really cool. Speaking of RPG Maker, we've got some great programming set up specifically right. for RPG Maker. That's right. Uh, Meeks Tape and Robbie Dude are going to be doing a two-day stream of RPG Maker games that they've been looking for and that have been oh, also Renpy. been submitted to them. Sorry. Renpy. Renpy. Good, Good right. call. Yeah. Good call. Yeah. yeah, but they're going to be doing um a stream for an hour a day for two days where they're going to be just showing off a bunch of RPG Maker games that they've collected that they've received from people like you and it's just it's it's really looking great like I can't I can't stress enough like how many amazing panels that we have they're just so different that yeah. you just wouldn't see at other places a huge variety of that stuff yeah it's it's absolutely ridiculous um, um is Austin working what's it called uh um. Yeah. Yeah. Well. 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 Here, well here's the thing: is, is that I want to mention too, because you mentioned RPG Maker games. Um. One. One thing is that we will have. Um. One of the panels actually, we have two showcase. Well, we have an uh, an RPG Maker showcase, which is going to be by by Meeks and Robbie Dude, and yep. that's going to be um on Wednesday and Thursday, I believe. Um. At five PST, both days. Um. So. So. And. and I, 8, 8, 8 p.m. Eastern as well. Yeah. So, so if you want to check out, if you want to check out specifically RPG Maker games, they have tons and tons of RPG Maker games, and they're going for two hours. They have one hour on Wednesday, one hour on Thursday because they're just packed with stuff. So you can also check that out as well. That's also on the schedule. So, so if you're interested, so like, there's even stuff for that specific thing as well. Mm -hmm. Um, 
Uh, also, also a weird, interesting panel, which is like what which is which is TJ's idea is that if you're interested in sort of triple A games, but like B triple A games, which is like its own little thing as well. Oh, there's the gonna be a talk ones. on that too. The the un, the, the underground the sleep, sort the sleeper of sleeper hits. The, the the sweep. Yeah, the only appreciated triple A games. Um, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be TJ on there. I think Austin's on that one too as well. Yep. Yeah. Austin's so gonna as, be on as, that as, one. As TJ. TJ Austin and Chip Cheesem yep. on the oh, yeah. um, on the under underrated triple A games. If you're interested in sort of low triple A games as well, B triple A games, that I'm, kind of I'm really stuff. glad I'm really glad we got Chip for that because I'm really looking forward to just going off with him about platinum games. Yeah. Forever. And yeah, it's 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 all it's all really gonna be great. I'm really glad we got some LP folks in for this event too. Yep. <clears throat> it's it's really gonna be awesome. Let's players and streamers have come out uh, in huge support for Indie Three, and we want to give them a platform like we would any of other artist. For sure. There there are a lot of LP talks as well. Yep. There is a lot of that too, Stu. Um, if you're interested, if you're interested in, in criticism, in games criticism, which isn't like games journalism, writing stuff like you know putting numbers on boxes or whatever, it's, yeah. it's games criticism, exploring what's interesting about games, exploring what's what's uh, you know unique about games, and, and and you know trying to sort of um, put sort of useful thought into games. There's a lot of really great critical panels. Actually, I'm doing a few on Saturday um, as well. If you're interested in in um, as well, if you're also interested in the sort of in the sort of um, sort of strand of leftist politics that sort of involve us around capitalism as well um, you know those those big folks making money and what that happens is there's also going to be a panel of video games under capitalism and that's going to be on Saturday Saturday is going to have a huge huge um, Saturday is a lot a lot of critical panels as well there's also going to be a panel on Metal Gear Solid 4 as well um, that's right which, 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 which is, James Howell is yeah, going to be there which, who which, was involved in, with Metal uh, Gear Solid in, 4 yeah it's, yeah and uh I believe um, Chip Chip will probably also be there as well to talk about okay, here cool. with them. Yep, Chip yeah, Chip Cheese and That's brilliant. Legit. Yeah, so so uh, that's, that's that's a that's a that's an interesting one that Des Dilch has kind of inserted. So that's cool to do. Um, a lot of interesting critical approaches one as well. So if you're interested in, in in different perspectives on how on how you can use other forms of art and use that when thinking about games, when approaching games as well, that's gonna be a really good one as well. Um, so that's gonna be really cool. Um, searching through this. Also, if you're interested in writing about experimental games, right? Because I talked about experimental games before. Um, that's gonna be a really good panel. That's going to be me. Um, that's going to be me, Lana Polanski, um, as well as um, AVB um, and Chris Priestman of Warped Door, um, and all those people, including myself, all sort of write for our own particular publications that focus on smaller games. Mm -hmm. So you really want to be there if you want to get a perspective um, from a lot of really interesting folks um, who do really great work in, in that kind of those sort of sectors of games as well. So that's going to be a really good panel too. All a lot incredibly of good smart people, <laughs> really smart people. Oh, uh, jeez. Uh, all the right people. We've had all yeah. the right people show up for. Yeah, AV AV yeah. will actually <laughs> most likely be here. For the 16th, where yep. we're doing the live performances, showing off a, a ton of multiplayer indie games. We're gonna have four-player Joy Lancer there, of course. Which nice, I know, nice. I know a couple people were interested in that when you were doing your Cascadia tour back then. Yeah, yeah, when I went on tour. And it's and if we if we uh, if we can get more people around here, we can arrange tournaments and stuff for all these kinds of games as well. Um, Richard Terrell, Kirby Kid, is interested in doing Bari Bari Ball. Yep. He might be even hosting his own stream. Yeah. That's going to be happening concurrent to Indie 3. Which would be great to hype up. Yeah, absolutely. And it's just... Uh, <laughs> oh, Jeb, hit us. We've got... I uh, just saying, we've got some, uh, some multiplayer co-op and competitive games lined up for that day as well on the Indie nice. Haven stream. Right on. That's that's pretty good. I didn't even know that they were gonna be able to do that. Yep. Um, what's it called? Um, I want to know something too as well. Is that is that um, did you during the thing? Um, we, we seem to be getting a reasonable number of viewers. If anyone wants to, um, is that, if anyone is willing to also um, um, participate in modding chats as well, um, we can use as many people as we can. So if anyone wants to contact us about that, make sure you contact me or Solon or someone else. Yep. Um, and and we want to get on that as fast as possible. So once, I wanna, once we're done with the podcast, we'll have a couple more people that are operating the chat. So we'll yeah. be able to get you all squared away after we get all this situated and we start moving on to the showcase. I want to take a little bit of a right turn um, and address all the devs, all the devs that have been uh, putting out games. Because uh, because there's been such a huge influx of the number of emails that we've been responding to uh, or trying to respond to. Trying uh, really hard to respond to, for sure. definitely haven't been able to get to every single email. Um, but we have read them. And we have read through all of them, and I just want to make sure that everyone knows that if you have submitted a game that you have been accepted, um, that everyone who has emailed their game to the uh, publication, whether it's in progress, whether you've just got a 
couple of screenshots. Uh, whether just started you got 10 minutes ago. Tra yeah, whether Whatever. it just started. We don't uh, care. We really don't care. It's not that we don't care. We definitely care. We care so much that we yeah, want to make sure that we give you all showcase. We care about you to the point that we don't care what you give us, as long as you give us something, because we want to make sure everyone else sees you. Yeah. And uh, I just wanted to address that for all the devs that are like, uh, have, have you seen our stuff? Uh, we definitely have. We absolutely have, and we're so excited to uh, reflect that. Uh, we were going to try to get like a mass email out to everyone, um, but scheduling got really, really compact, and so we had to prioritize certain things, and so hopefully now I can hit that up for you. Oh. But, yeah, keep going. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to hit up the devs, um, make sure that everyone's kind of on the same page while we've got the attention. Um, and yeah, we're going to show off if we've got over 150 submissions and we're going to show them all off. And if you guys are submitting panels, if you guys are submitting art, music, if you guys are submitting, uh, games, we will get to them after the show tonight and update all of our lists for those. Uh, so we, we also, once again, might we're not still respond to you if we have a huge influx of emails. Um, we still got some blank spaces in our schedule. Yep. And it's incredibly easy to just like put whatever we want in there. If there is a topic that you are like, I have this idea that I want to follow through with. Uh, maybe it's a design idea. Maybe it's some uh, uh, some kind of identity that you want to explore. Some kind of thread of thought in games. Um, hit us up. You got our email. Um, You'll never have to do a panel by yourself if you don't want to. No. Our our focus has been on making sure every panel is like this basically where we have yeah. multiple people just chatting about a topic and just like you know really really chill really casual mm -hmm. but really getting some some interesting dialogue out there having a lot of fun of course if you just want to like start a manifesto yeah. uh you got a platform <laughs> for that <laughs> i'm certain serious i uh. i would love to see some people put out some design manifestos or some social critique manifestos or some uh economic manifestos of some sort around games like there's so much room for that. There's so yeah, much cool stuff you could do. Sure. Um, or if you want to lay some theses out and then have a panel after that, just like throw them all out there and then explore the wreckage that you just caused with a couple of friends. Yep. Like we got room for that. And and um, just as a reminder, um, everything that happens during Indie Three will be archived. Yep. So if you're yep. if you're not here now, you're probably watching this tomorrow and going, why are they talking to me? But yeah, you're. We're, we're, all this is being saved. Yep. Um, we're going to be archiving it. We're going to be doing some edits. We're going to probably like put together some videos and stuff like that of some of the footage that we show. And yeah, it's yep. all of it. All of it's going to be saved. So if you miss something, or if you want to check out, go look at something else for a while. Maybe, maybe you're curious at looking at what E3's got. Go right ahead because this is all going to be saved. I mean, you, I mean, you don't want to miss this kind of stuff because it's all you know. You get the chat too. Yeah, you get Life the chat. Cool. You get to see all of it happening in real time. Mm -hmm. You get to be part of the magic. Um, that one's called. Uh, also, uh, if, magic. if you're if you're in the go. East Coast, um, if you're in the East Coast around North America and such, note that a lot of a lot of the panels, most of the panels, are going to be usually past five o'clock or so. Yeah. So so if if you get home around four thirty or something, if you're going home around five and six, you're you're still going to be able to catch a lot of stuff. If you're in Pacific, uh, you'll miss a few, but at the same time, I think I think there, there's still a, a good chunk after five or six on Pacific as well. So, That's so I think it's going to be okay. We're going. Um, we, from, we try to put stuff a little late. We're going every day from one to nine, and we also plan on potentially arranging activities to do afterwards, known as after hour activities. Yep. So we're gonna uh -huh. we're gonna plan lots of fun stuff in there as well. It's it's all gonna happen as it happens, of course. But hey. like you know, it's it's one of those things where it's like, okay, it's nine o'clock, we're over. But if you want to keep watching, we might have something for you later. Yep. The, that kind uh, of stuff. I just want to throw out that if, if a you, lot of our if you're one of, a lot if of, if you're one of the folks who so, likes to get up early. I don't know who's there, but if you like to get up early, we have some early panels too. We, we have some early panels mm -hmm. um, because we have we have folks um, in other parts, we have folks in the UK as well. Yep, we had um, to so make some. Are very different. Had to make yeah. some creative liberties with that. So uh, if you're, yeah, yeah, if you're so in we, Pacific and you don't mind waking up early, those will those will be pretty interesting. Um, Alternatively, Ar all of Europe will have some guys. Arvind Ar Ar is going to be showing off. I mean, he's going to be showing off unrest, yep. which which looks to be really awesome. Of course, we're going to show it off in the in the highlights. Yep. But and also he's going to be doing a chat with a couple other developers about designing RPGs without combat. Mm -hmm. And yeah, uh, that's that's going to be an interesting one to listen to for sure. 
there, uh, there's some a good, lot there of some good panels narrated parts. I'm going to say that it's worth going into. We have a panel um, on Friday called "What Not to Do with Native Americans in Games." That's going to be one you're going to want to talk about. That's by that's, Manuel that's Arsano, who is um, with Treachery and Beatdown City. Also a oh, game that you should be looking into. I didn't even know that. Yep, he's working with my boy Sean Allen. <laughs> that game's going to be great. I'm really glad their Kickstarter got worked out properly. Yep. If only it was Save a little later one. so we could, you know, take the credit for helping that out by going like, hey, they brought it to ND3 and now they're kickstarted. But, you know, we'll we'll deal. We've got some Kickstarter games coming up. We got we got plenty of those. Mm -hmm. We got lots of games that need people's support and maybe maybe you're into it. You've been supporting this so far, so maybe you could support some actual games too. Uh a lot of uh, just um, going back to the uh, also, also it's going to be Mario Marsano. It's also going to be Elizabeth Eileen uh, La Pense yeah. as well. It's going to be there too. Um, she's and, also going to be now. From what I know, she's a PhD, so she's very um, sort of studied in that as well. So that's that's going to be a really really cool panel as Correct. well. I, I guess I, I guess there's going to be a lot of there's going to be a lot of really interesting trains of thought that that that, that, that sort of metal that sort of metal the line between like things that are very very like like I want the talks to be casual and and and, ha and everyone to have a really good time, but they're also really informative as well. Um, yeah, for and, sure. and and the people who are on are definitely people who who are experience and have done really cool stuff so yeah um, i'm gonna i'm gonna interrupt you for a moment um yep uh jeb go ahead and Thank continue you. yeah i was just gonna say we were talking uh a couple minutes ago about the the time frame of the coverage a lot of what we're doing at indie haven is going to be running on british time so we have content that will go far beyond the 9 9 p.m pacific uh time nice, frame nice. so we'll have we'll have uh talks that go on until very late into the morning here <laughs> yeah definitely you gotta we're, we're trying to keep those time zones in mind but big ups to everyone who's been in different time zones and like working together with us yeah it's been great we definitely got talks that have certain people coming from different areas of the world and but we're making it work that. for sure they well, did great work organizing that so, so, so if 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 an E three is the E three for everybody else, that means that that it's really, really complementary in the sense that we we have we have like there's so much variety of stuff, but that also means the time zones as well. So, so they're like 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 it, we're only kind of like a like we're we're sort of it's sort of the core group of organizers. It's more like five six people for the most part. Um, so we can't cover everything. So it's really really nice that there are other people like Indie Haven, other people at um uh, Indie Game Magazine as well. But yeah, Pasman Khalif well. Adams so people... has been helping us out a lot. Yep. He, oh, nice, um, yeah. he was actually involved with the uh, with the logo that we used while we were getting set up, which I was a huge fan of. Yeah. Oh, oh, uh, Indie three, the revolution will be televised. Beautiful. Yep. The revolution will. <laughs> What's be it called? Um, shout out to There's Tess, Austin. Uh, we got him. By the way, asshole. So that too. Oh, is he? Yep, Austin's here. Is he there? Hi, everyone. It's hey. Austin Howe. Oh, thank you. Austin, good to hear you. Austin. We yeah. just had to change a few settings around, but I should be good now. Yeah. Right. Okay, cool. That's yeah. great. So, so, so um, shout out to a few more people. Actually, shout out to, to Tess Young, um, who, mm. who, who made some really amazing art. For Love her so much. Thank I'm really so glad. Much. All of your art on yeah. Hitbox, all of your totally, art on totally. Tumblr. She made, she, made that ha she made that happen, then we uh -huh. just slapped, slapped it on everything. Just it had Everyone had to see it. So big, big ups to her and... Um, Big up to TSS underscore Anderson, who did the original logo that she used yep. for the artwork. Yep. Both both great folks. Lots of people have been really... Like like I said, the support has just been amazing. You guys so many just, people you've done, you've, done, you've done a great job, all of you. Uh, it's, it's just... Uh, Shoutouts to Hitbox for giving us front page coverage of the double, event for Double shoutouts to Hitbox. Like, yep. a, amazing shoutouts to Hitbox. That was just amazing to see. There's gonna be a hitbox panel too. That's if you true. Wanna, if you want, if you want to see, you know, if if you're interested in, in the people who sort of to to build this platform, that's gonna be there too. Maybe, that was my maybe question. Wanna, yeah, maybe you want to start your own streaming platform. They're gonna give you some advice and stuff like that, mm -hmm. or at least some great horror stories for sure. <laughs> maybe you can hear some of that that hitbox versus Twitch nonsense. Yeah, yeah. We're not. We're yeah, not so. doing that. Please, please <laughs> don't be mean to Twitch. On or E3. Yeah, this on is, our behalf. This is not yeah, a versus I wanna, I wanna thing. Emphasize, this is a together I want to emphasize thing. that as hard as possible. That yeah. We are not in opposition to E3. We don't hate commercial games. We don't hate major industry games. We have, <laughs> we two have a panel about commercial to games. About AAA games. This is just for yeah, everyone yeah, who's not at E3. Nice. This is for the yeah, people. This is for the people that we think deserve the boot, the boost. Yeah. Which is everybody. Cool. Everybody there's also, for the love of video games. All video there's games. also something to be said. There's a lot of people who simply can't be at large events yeah and this is a chance right. for them to to be a part of something exactly all of us have day jobs. well it's a what's it called you know? well, e3 is a trade show right so mm -hmm. um 
So so it, it's kind of I said that this isn't necessarily a trade. So it, it's more it's more like a sort of like a can you, can you organize a fence? So exactly, which is why they work so complementary together. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We've, we've got stuff that they're not showing. They've got stuff we're not showing. It's great. I, I mean, like... They have a couple things that we're not showing, but, like, mm. most of the stuff we're probably showing. Do, 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 we, have any, do we have any consoles to show? Do we have, do new, we have consoles. Any new game consoles? Huh? Um, we might tomorrow. <laughs> you never know. A lot of shit uh, just well, kind of uh, happens. I, I'm pretty, actually, when it comes we, to announce... We might have some, some console content. Okay. Mm. Yep. Okay. Ooh. Right okay, all right. That's, that's cool. That's cool. Secrets and, on and the Indie pretty, Haven side. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we, we have some interesting um, interesting tech to show as well, though. Yes, um, we do. From what I know. Okay, yeah, yeah all right, okay. So that's, 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 that's cool, too. So, so you, you definitely have to check this channel. We have revolutionary new platforms. I'm proud to announce that Indy3 will be revealing the Sega Saturn. Yeah. Finally. I know oh, you guys have been waiting the for years. you've all been waiting for. <laughs> Sega Saturn is internet, you know. It, it does. It's, it's the first. It's the first console with internet. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that was the Dreamcast. Right. Well, was it? Shit, I gotta go. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no they idea. found All out! Our grand ruined. They found out! Oh god! But yeah. We are proud to announce both Half-Life 3 and Shenmue 3. <laughs> <laughs> they're actually the same game. Uh, we they'll they'll be in the game jam, don't worry. All I'm saying is there might be a trailer for The Last Guardian here. <laughs> I, 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 know, I know you guys are excited about that. Hmm? So... It's good stuff. Yeah, yeah. If you're wondering no, that about canceled, that, you, you want to stick close. Oh, yeah, that was right. canceled. I forgot. <laughs> or was we it? We got Fumito Ueda to talk about was it? <laughs> uh, not working on the last card. <laughs> <laughs> we don't actually have Fumito Ueda. Sorry. Oh, that's, that's too bad. That's true. I, I would love to. I would love to have Fumito Ueda. Oh, hey, if, if, if you're really if you cool. if you got if you got a Twitter account, got at least fifty thousand followers, tweet it with Fumito Ueda. <laughs> get him get him on here. Yeah. Anybody who can that's tweet so cool. in Japanese, please get Fumito Ueda for us. Yeah, um, I remember we actually we actually were looking for interpreters before though. I remember if I remember correctly. Yeah, um, as well. Um, the, 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 no, 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 that stuff could work out, but I, I remember that we did want um, to maybe get some Japanese developers. Um, but I don't think that actually worked out. We wanted some Japanese critics, but uh, okay. but uh, Matsunaga yeah. Super said that he couldn't notice. show up. And, uh, uh, I mean, yeah, it, it was really straight. It's all short notice, you know what I mean? So so that that's the kind of stuff will happen. The but, fact but that we got anything in such short notice year. at all is like incredible. Yeah. 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 Three no days ago, none exists. of this existed. And now we have over 20 panels, <laughs> over 160 games, and hundreds of people. We got hundreds more of people. To like really excited, engaged to watch new games. Literally a thousand people watching. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. We have almost 30 panels. Yep, we do. But do we? Yep. I, 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 I don't we think had I some did. panels that got messed with overnight. I put a panel up five minutes before we aired this. There you go. Like I said, we're making almost all of this happen in real time. Yep. But we're doing you know, it for I you. would love to say, I would love to say that I was working right up until the broadcast started, but uh, most of my stuff was finished, so I played Castlevania three most of the time. There you go. Thanks, Austin. Uh, I, 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 I was, I was working, I was working pretty much to the top. <laughs> so, I'm so, sorry. Because yeah, I, I, I was working to the top because I wanted to finish up the schedule on our site. So if you go on Project Indie Three oh. you can check out our schedule. It's if there. You can also go on Indie Game Magazine as well and check out our schedule. I'll put those links in just now, actually. Mm -hmm. um, so our schedule is there. If you want to see, you want to plan out and, and make sure they're able to get to those events, get to those panels. Um, what is it called? Um, we don't have a schedule up for sort of TJ showcase yet, mostly because it's 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 pretty much a showcase that goes on continuously. Yeah. Um, with some intermissions and such, but it's exactly. basically just be showing games. Yeah. So exactly. That's, we're that's, gonna we're gonna have uh, Austin and who's gonna be doing this, with Austin? Uh, John Brickman. Are you interested in doing that with Austin yet? Yep. Oh, uh, the showcase thing later on. Like later on tonight. The the one. Well, there's the one that's gonna be going on soon because I wanna be over here helping do some more promotion. I'm on my stuff laptop all day. Yep. Yeah. See, so we got we got Austin. Um, I remember John was interested in doing that. Yep. You could you could also do it if you were interested. Yep. But yeah, it's 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 gonna be really great. We're gonna be getting it started up in about like ten minutes or so. Yep. So um, if anything, if anyone has any like final comments or anything to say, if anyone in chat has anything to say. So before we go, uh, let me. Uh, we 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 told them about the games. We told them about the panels. But let's tell them about what they really want to hear about. Mm -hmm. Who are we? <laughs> Who are we? Hmm. Jeez, Who are we? Um, that's just, that's a very just complicated people, question. Just, just some people on the internet, honestly. Right. So oh, my name, so my, yeah, my name is uh, <laughs> my name's TJ Thomas. I am the founder of Alpha Six Productions, who is currently developing the Joy Lancer Legendary Motor Knight, which I'm going to be talking about later today as well, of course, and another project which I will also be officially announcing called Desperado Voyage with 
amazing character artwork by my boy Greg Goodson, Jet Gregoire. You you may know him on Twitter. You might know him on Tumblr. Um, I'm also getting some really great support from Brody Morris, who's been helping me do character designs. That's PuppyTube on Twitter. And Nero O'Reilly, Trumpet Shark, has been doing backgrounds for us, which I will be taking all of their work and converting it into pixel art specifically for this game. It's <laughs> and it's and it's high res too. It's it's gonna look awesome. Yep. I'm I'm gonna go all out for sure. Yep. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be great. We're gonna have more details for you on that tonight. For sure. For sure. And some reveals. But yeah, lots of reveals aside got some from really just big that. news about that too. Yeah, we got lots of people that are going to be re um, revealing their projects specifically for ND3, so we got lots of exclusives. Cool. Aside from just the stuff that nobody's heard of. I want to hear from the voice of God. Who are you? Who are you setting up this stream? Oh, me? Are you, yeah. Are ah. you there, God? <laughs> are you there? I am off camera, uh, but I am Logic Hole. I am a Seattle area streamer who got his start in the fighting game community. I am one of the co-organizers of the monthly Battle for Seattle tournament series, which you can watch every month. We had the last one on Saturday, two days ago. And so I got started on this stream on Sunday, i.e. yesterday. Yep. And, and now today we have all of this. Yes. And a lot of this is new tech for us. Uh, we are improvising and kind of really stretching our capabilities. It's been pretty amazing to see this all come together. Yeah, we've never we've filmed from intergalactic Windows 98 screensaver space before. <laughs> yep. We've never done it. But you're seeing it. Yeah, right just here. wait till we go to Warp 9. You're seeing it happen in real time. Do you, do you have Windows 98 E3? Do you have Windows 98? <laughs> we have Windows 98 in D3. Cool. Uh, Zolani. Yep. Hit us up. Introduce yourself. All right. Okay. My name is Lonnie Stewart. Um, I'm Feng Shui on Twitter. Um, it's ZZZ. Um, my username. Um, I'm a games critic. Um, I write about video games. Um, I do it in a few places. I do for publications. Um, right now, one of my main projects is, is that I'm running um, a magazine called The Arcade Review, um, which is a magazine on experimental video games. Which is uh, we're launching awesome. a summer issue. We're launching a summer issue like next month, actually. Um, so it's a quarterly. Um, so so that, that, that one's actually really cool. ArcadeReview.net. Um, Get on it. You, you can, yeah, you can subscribe. You curate an you amazing magazine. And give it's give them money so they can <laughs> yeah, so they can pay our writers because writers yeah, yeah. deserve to be paid just like everybody else. Totally. Just like totally. everyone else. I don't know. Yeah. They just write. Yeah. Um, what's called? I, I also do some podcasting <laughs> occasionally with Anna Polanski. I do that occasionally too. So that's really nice. Um, so yeah, I, I mostly do the creative thing. I like to make games occasionally, but but for the most part, the mostly doing the, a bunch of critical work, a bunch of critical writing thought work and stuff, as well as some LPs too. Um, actually, someone likes some of my LPs as well. That's really nice, you know, so so that kind of stuff. I, I haven't watched your LPs, but I just, I, I have a thing where I can't watch LPs of my friends, which which I guess which I guess means we're going to be crossing four more LPs I'm not going to watch anymore after oh, this event is over. I'm sorry that you made friends. Yeah. That's a huge loss for all of us. I'm just going to call them instead be like, hey, Slow Beef, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm not going to do that to you, Slow Beef. I promise. Shout out we to love all those guys. Beef. Shout out, yeah. shout out to Slow Beef, Diabetes, General Ironicus, and Chip Cheesem for mm -hmm. getting involved with this. Yep. That's going to be that's going to be so much fun to do. I'm really excited to have them on. Yep. But yeah, um, we're um. If you want yeah, a little bit John, of hype, we're, John, we're, tell us, tell us yeah, who you are. Go, John. Uh, hello, I am John Bridgman. <laughs> Jeb Wrench on Twitter. I write for IndieHaven.com, where. Uh, an online magazine devoted almost exclusively to indie gaming content. We do have some smaller AAA studio coverage once in a while, but primarily indie games. We run a podcast every week, and we try to keep a fair and open opinion about whatever comes along. And we are absolutely thrilled to be involved with Indie 3. We're thrilled to have you. Yep. You guys, like like I've said like a million times in this podcast alone, you guys have done phenomenal work. You've just been going off since, Al ever also, since I made yeah. that tweet, you've just been going nonstop. Also, a huge shout out uh, to Allison Fleming. Yes. She has Love been her. amazing. Love her. She got she, she got in contact mm -hmm. with Northern Lion, didn't she? Mm -hmm. So we might even be able to get him on something. Yep. Great Fingers guy. crossed. Fingers crossed, because that'd be that'd be a nice boost. We could talk about Binding of Isaac, which is also indie. Oh, I always forget. Yeah. It is. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. It is. Oh, yeah. But yeah, um, 
tell, tell us tell us about yourself, Mr. Austin Chandler. I want to hear about this book yes. that you're writing, Austin. You know what it is. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> My name's my name's Austin Chandler Howe. Um, I write uh, hapticfeedbackgames.blogspot.com, uh, which the actual title of it is just Haptic Feedback. I write mostly about games. Sometimes I write about music when I'm feeling like being a jerk. And uh, uh, my work is starting to show up in a few different publications. I uh, I did an article for Ontological Geek earlier this or earlier this year. I, uh, I'm slated to have a piece published in uh, uh, Allie and Williamson's 5 out of 10 magazine, which you should also yeah, definitely excellent. read. And um, I'm working on a lot of projects right now, including my band's first album. Uh, we are the Bread Chats. I play guitar. I'll talk more about that later. Um, I'm also in the early planning stages of three different books. Uh, but the most important one is Cloudware's Brew, which is a comprehensive uh, critical overview of Final Fantasy VII, looking at every major detail of the game. Austin, really Austin is one of the most knowledgeable people about Final Fantasy VII I've ever met. Like, like they're, all, like they're they're like they're they're like fans, and then they're, they're like fanboys, and then there are people who know what they're talking about. And Austin pretty much gets it down pat every time. Yeah, he's he's actually gotten me to like rethink I also, the way I think about that I'd game. I also want to give a few specific shoutouts. Mm -hmm. Um two of the panels we didn't really talk about all that much is I'll be having two small, at this point, what are mostly intimate conversations with both uh, Stephen Barron and Zoya Street about articles that they've done recently. Uh, Stephen Barron did an article about uh, the relationship between RPG mechanics and capitalism that we'll be having a short discussion about. And uh, I'll, also be having an I'll also be having a discussion with Zoya Street about his article on Medium about norms, possibilities, and permissibility in video games. So Lonnie's in that too, isn't he? Yeah, Zelani's also in that one, and that's yep. going to be a large, and that's going to be, um, it's a hugely complex topic. And that's that's going to be a long chat. one. Like, most, most also, panels are probably going to be. I also am incredibly honored to re-announce for the thousandth time that James Howell will be on two different panels. Yes, uh, James, James Howell's Howell, here, yeah. Who, who, wrote, uh, who wrote the earliest uh, games criticism that I ever read about Metal Gear Solid 2 and Metal Gear Solid 4. We have him for a panel about critical approaches where he's going to talk about poetry and theology. And then right after that, we're going to have a huge fun time talking about MGS4. It's going With to be awesome. Chip Cheesem. With Chip Cheesem, yeah. If you guys like and, Metal Gear, uh, it's going to be a good week for you. James Howell, James Howell actually worked on MGS4. He worked on the localization a little bit. He's not going to talk about that all that much, but I mean, we're talking to the guy who was on the inside. Yeah, he's, he had all the experience with that game. Mm hmm. So, yeah, and this is. Uh, how quickly we all threw this together, all the stress that we've all been through, it's been a huge pleasure and a huge honor. And I thank all of the 1,104 people, 1,114 yep. people wow. who are watching right now. Wow. Mm -hmm. All <laughs> right. You all are amazing. I think on that note, you. we got to show these guys some games. Yeah, it so is, we're gonna we're gonna Hell we're gonna yeah. screw off for a little bit, get some more stuff set up, you know, <laughs> Phrasing, go into, yeah. you know what I mean. Thanks, go thanks into the whole mission. You, by the way. Yeah. So thanks to all of you. There, there are, I mean, I mean, like it's basically just kind of the the five of us here. But I mean, like the number of people who had their hands in this is 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 hard to count. It's yeah. it's, it's, um, it's it's almost it's staggering. Count. It's almost yeah. anxiety inducing. Like how many people have been involved? Because now I feel like I'm not going to credit everybody. Or no, I'm, I know. Or I'm going to yeah. miss like three games. You, Everyone's going to hate me for the rest of my life. We've got we've got hundreds you know of people are, who are being channeled through like five people setting up the physical stream. Uh, <laughs> I yeah. I accidentally, for a little bit, put up a uh, in, uh, video game build that was supposed to be shown. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, 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 yeah. whoa. Get, get that out of here. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but, yeah, um, I, I, we, we, do, we, we do and we will, and we'll probably continue to make more mistakes while we run this whole thing. It's going to get better over time, though. But, come on. Yeah, this is such Four a small days thing, ago, but on such a exist. big scale. Four days ago. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Um, it, 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 in that case, yeah. Though, things are very much going to get better over time from the production standpoint. I just got a text message saying that our graphic designer is getting off of work, and so <laughs> as he does some more stuff for us, we'll be updating live. And yep. You'll get to see that happen. So you'll get so. to see things become better as time goes on. So like all all this stuff that you think is great and whatever, which you must be because there's fucking eleven like. That's ridiculous. Uh, Eleven twenty-five right now. Uh, That's absolutely ridiculous. Voice of God, would you like to this start is... moving people out of the humble? Yeah, let's 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 start packing up. Let's go into intermission. We'll get something um, running for you guys. While I, I want to get... note something. Yeah. 
Hit us, Zolani. Last yeah, word. Yeah, I want to. I want to. I want to know something. I, just, I want to know just really quickly. Is, is that is that there's gonna be some hiccups here and there, but again, you can always contact us. Uh, you can contact us on Twitter, of course. Um, you can you can email us at uh, nd 3 at a6productions.com if yep. I'm correct. So, so and I'll so, take so, care so, of you. So, yeah. So if there's something around, you you can get in contact with us. Um, of course, again, um, if you want to be able to help us mod the stream, that's also be uh, very very much appreciated. Um, we are watching. Like so, we are watching the nd 3 hashtag. So if you have any advice or any comments or anything like that, just fire it, throw that hashtag on there. We'll probably see it. And we're, we're trying to promote some stuff. So if even if you haven't submitted a game, if you want to get it to our, like, what, almost 1,200 followers at this point, yeah, send it to us, and we'll take a look. We'll probably, we'll probably retweet it regardless. So, you know, if you, want, if you want that free promo, throw it our way. And we don't care if it's games. We don't care if it's music. We don't care if it's Let's Plays. We don't care if it's a screenshot. Give it to us. Yep. We we want to show it. Trust me. If we you really find, do. And, if you find a road picture you, of the Wiener Mobile like on the highway, just give us a picture of it. I don't care. Uh, if you if you see an actual awesome. real Wiener Mobile, <laughs> please make sure to tag it with hashtag Indy Three Predictions. Yes. This is real. This is really important. So if you do see that, it's please on make the bingo card. <laughs> but yeah, if, let's. Uh, if anybody wants to submit for uh, submit uh, a request for an interview with Indy Haven, right. we also have our. Email address set up. It's indie three at indiehaven dot com. Mm -hmm. There you go. So fire an email their way in. if you want to get or those interviews. Excuse me. Yeah, but fire fire some messages their way if you want to get on one of their interviews, or fire us a message if you have an idea that you'd like to see happen. Yep. Where we are we are really absolutely doing our best to make sure we accommodate every single person who's sent something and supported us because like seriously, you guys are amazing and we want to make sure as much of the world knows it as possible. Mm -hmm. For sure. And uh just one final last thing. Uh technically speaking, setting all this up isn't even really done yet. We're still getting submissions for games. Someone just submitted a panel too. And this is all coming from all of you. Yep. It's all happening yeah. in real time. If you want to submit a panel, you still can, but, but the later you submit it, the harder it is to get in, so make sure that, that you do that as fast as possible. Um, we so. are running out of space. Yeah, no, yes. we're running out of space. We're running out of space. We're filling up time. Surprisingly. Space. Space. I didn't expect that to yeah, ever sure happen, but it's really happening. We've got a full week, and we're running out of space. That's amazing. We, yep. You know when you, like, buy your terabyte hard drive? You're like, there's no way I can fill up a terabyte hard drive. This is huge. And then you do, and you're like, well, better yeah. get three more. Then, then then you get on that Steam Summer Sale, and suddenly that terabyte is gone. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, let's let's get out of here. Before let's they get, figure out we let's don't get have an intermission. Let's get See everything ya. else set up. We're going to be doing the, uh, the showcase very soon. Please yep. give us a little bit of time to get stuff set up. But it's, it's going to be great, for sure. Yep. Thank you so, all for coming. We will be right back. Thank you.